Hey all, welcome to my video. Today in this video we will be modeling this part. Earlier I have created with the same idea a cube. Now we are gonna create a primate shape. So let's create by opening a new part. And on the top plane I'm going to create a sketch. And we draw a line here first. And after that I'm going to create here one line. And touching the line and selecting point while control is pressed, we say midpoint. So here I will create an arc. And after I'm trying to give my dimensions, shift is click, arc and point. We say this is 5. From point to here is 20. And the radius here, 170. The first sketch is done. We close this one. And then in the right plane, I'm going to create a sketch. And we look from right plane as well. I place here one arc. Maybe before that, it's good to create a line like this to make sure that things are going easier. I move my point a bit, I press control, select point and arc and pierce. And then I create, I select again my right plane. And I create here one arc. I'm going to say these two objects is tangent by clicking control. And I will create here a line again. Combine these two points. And I'm going to give a height, which is 75. This is pretty much fine. We can continue. We go surfaces, this web surface. This is profile, and this is the pad. And then we create the shape. Now I need to create one axis. For that, I select top plane and origin, and I create an axis over there. After that operation, we go to circular pattern, bodies, these are the bodies, bodies, three time, I create an instance, I come to surfaces, trim surface, select three object, and select keep selections, and choose uh, uh, areas which is falling to between surfaces. And then we say OK, the rest will be removed and we will have this shape. Now we can again look from one plane and create here a sketch. What we will do, create here an arc and here a line. Maybe line no needed, but not needed, but I created it. We select two object, control is pressed, and again a tangency. So later we say this is 150, and I will keep like how it is now. We go to revolve surface, axis of revolution is this, and then we create this surface. I come to trim surface again. Mutual active surfaces, those two, remove selection will be those guy and this unnecessary part. And then I create a enclose volume here. If I go to thicken now, create solid from enclose volume, this will be converted to a solid geometry as you see here. Then we can go to Next step, features, swap both base, circular profile, 10 is selected, and I create a select this edge. Under options, we remove merge result. Now I'm going to create one more time the operation. This edge, circular profile, this edge selected, we are not going to merge result. 
So we have three solid bodies. Now I need to extend these surfaces a bit. 10 is good. If you click enter, you're going to get the same command again. Ooh, we are not able to see this, maybe a bit, but we can hide this guy and show them again. We go to move face, select those two surfaces and we extend the length of uh, our parts. X is selected and then we go circular pattern, body is selected and we copy them to it. It's good. We have seven bodies. Now we are going to select combine, subtract. This is the main body. And if you don't want to select each of them, you go here, select shift, and click the shift and select the end. And then everything selected. And then you remove them. So this is done. And then I'm going to give uh, here radiuses each corner to each edge in fact not corner yes everything selected and we say two is done and then fill it maybe one and we select the surfaces and then operation is finished yeah it was a simple model uh, but it is a good surfacing example. I hope you have learned something new. If you are searching better videos, please do visit my channel. You're gonna find a lot of X hard surface examples or add is a better way to say. Thanks for watching. See you in another video.